Ten for ninety-nine. Down him. One hundred. Here. Down one. Knocked him. The guy's behind us on the road. Downed him. Yeah. Downed. Here we go! And welcome everyone to the 1UP XP show. This week we take you into another new season of Fortnite. It is now Chapter 3, Season 4. And uh, this season is actually back to more basics than anything. There is a new way of getting around the map, new way of traversing, as you can change into uh, liquid metal and kind of bubble around, blob around as we call it. Um, but also they have chrome guns now. So the chrome guns, when you pick them up, are green, but... The more damage you deal, then they upgrade, uh, which is a super cool thing. But in this gameplay, we didn't touch much on the new things as we did just getting into the old things that they have updated. And man, it feels really good. Lifestyles, Clam, as well as uh, Big Burr and myself jump into this uh, new map. Well, not really new map, but new iteration of the map and also new iteration of Fortnite. And this is how it went. Follow me as in, like, don't do what I do. Because I'm not that good of a name. Nice! You had some good shooting there, Tex. 122. <laughs> Hit him once. Are you kidding me? Here. Oh, there's this guy right here. Yeah, that's the guy I was shooting at. 29 twice. Guy Dude. on me. Where are you? Back where y'all just started. Coming. He's, He's below me. you. He's below you. <laughs> you're so you're so mean, Clam. I know. <clears throat> Classic clam. Meme. He's memeing kids out here, dude. You could be a little nicer, clam. Boing! Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> you okay? I landed right in a trash can. Oh, yeah, I, I heard somebody? No. Hmm. He's above so me. You may want a on like is four it? levers, bro, that are blue. There's a guy above me. Are you sure it wasn't me you heard? Yeah, because it was a thump. Nope. Goofy audio or no? Nope, that's definitely a guy. There he is. He's running away. Are you kidding me? No, nope, I missed every shot again. I'm terrible. There he goes. Same spot we started. 22? 26. See if he just shot at me. 26, cracked him. White. I see that. Yep. Dead. Thank you. Oh, thank you. TK, oh, one right in front of you in the rocks. Nice. Blob. Right there, right there. Hit him for 99. Downed him. Nice, nice. good job. He's right across the water from me, 33-30. He 
he was. I don't know where he went. He's behind the rock. He's dead. Oh. Someone just got sniped back. 33. He's running away. Oh, how did that not hit you? 33. 32, 32, 32, nice. 32 cracked. Nice. 30, he's whited. Got him, finally, thank God. There's a team to your left coming out of storm, so be careful, back left. Yeah, I saw them shooting. How did I not hit him? I'm trying to get out of the tree line so I can 100? see them. Nice. Nice job. Uh, right in front like, of us, there's a wolf chasing a guy. Oh, yeah, a team in front of me. Team from our left's also shooting. 100. I'm in, I'm in a real. 99. They're both cracked. There's a guy right here. Another. Down one. Nice. Nice, nice down. I say that's our push, right? Yeah, they were. It's in that fort, that build. Yep. We gotta be careful. With other teams there. He's one shot. Thank you. Is that everybody? No, nope. one mm -hmm. coming up in the car. Thank you. Blob left. Got her. Somebody's trying to shoot from another yep, spot. I'm trying to I'm trying to get Burr right now. Knocked him. Move. He's behind this mushroom. Yep. Burr Missed. move to your left, okay? Cart. Cracked. Watch the guys behind us, though. Downed him. Nice down. That guy's broken. Nice knock. Okay, we push towards him. Watch the guy on the left, though. Okay. Uh, Flake coming up behind you, okay? Yeah. Finish that guy. Downed. Woo! Right, that guy that jumped? Yeah. You're insane. Nice shot. <laughs> 110 on that guy. There's a team at the buildings. I'm on the mushroom. Yep. They are, they're splashing right now. Oh, no way. I missed that. Right? One's cracked on that underneath the house. That, that guy's 110. I hit him for a lot. Oh, this shoot. I'm going for him. Careful. I'm not with you guys. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. Come on, dude. Two upstairs, two downstairs. Yeah, they all push me. Yeah, there's guys pushing them from behind. Tree is so annoying. Guys right here. They're pushing them right now. They're pushing them. They're pushing. Oh, I just got to be patient. Yep, they're, bo they're both here. Both teams. Nice. All right, so it's 1v2. Or wait. He's right there on your... Oh, he's healing. He's healing. Yep, to your left. Yep, they just healed. 
to your left. Oh, another guy. That was a mistake. He's gonna get shot by the other dudes. Okay. Dude, that shotgun's insane! Nice! Hello. Can you shoot that mushroom? Yes. That a boy. Nice. Oh, are you dabbing? Oh, he's dancing. Without a trace. And Richard found a way to get it done there. And if you recall back to the beginning of the highlights, I said lifestyles. I've known him as lifestyles for a long time, but he has changed his branding now to Richard Bone. So Richard got it done clutch win there as he was 2v1 and uh found a way to clutch it up and get that win so thank you richard for carrying clam burr and i to that victory but coming up next on the one up xp show we sit down with sean Byrne, the esports professor at st Clair college in windsor ontario but also the varsity director we sit down we talk to him about his program what his program has done and is doing here to really make or put st Clair college on the map and also, the Nexus. We'll have all that coming up right after the break. And welcome back to the 1UP XP show. If you recall a few months back, we sat down with Lambton College. Now, Lambton is in Windsor, or excuse me, in Ontario. Um, but down just to their south in Windsor is kind of their rivalry school, uh, St. Clair College. Now, St. Clair College was the first to have a varsity esports program, whereas Lambton was the first to have an esports curriculum. And then they both found the other side of what those schools had for each other. But I haven't talked to St. Clair College. So I got on the horn and got in touch with Sean Byrne. He is the esports professor and varsity director at St. Clair College. Now, he set this program up about five years ago now, and they have really grown to something massive. And they have also just built a huge esports arena for prospective students, as well as all the kids, all the students that are there at St. Clair College. We sat down, we talked about that. Now you can find this podcast on the 910 News YouTube channel, the video podcast, all of it, and it's our length. And then you can also listen to it on Spotify and SoundCloud. So make sure you check that out if you search up the One Up XP show. This is what Sean had to say. Um, you are the esports professor and varsity director there at St. Clair uh, College. Fill me in here. You guys are in Windsor, just across the river. Um, but what what do you guys offer to kids? Uh, do you guys have scholarships? Do you get, obviously, you guys have the curriculum. But what is St. Clair's grab to the kids around the Detroit area, around Ontario? Yeah, so we basically have two different programs. We've got the, the varsity side and the competitive side, and we've got the academic side. So what we're trying to do is create an environment where regardless of if your goal is to go pro and play a game competitively or if you want to work behind the scenes as a broadcaster or you know in marketing or whatever right. you want to give all of all of those different types of students opportunities to work in esports and, and find their place so um on the varsity side which we launched launched first you know we do offer obviously facilities our the nexus facility just opened here um uh, just a few weeks ago and we're still working out some kinks right now um, but that's about 15,000 square feet of space. It's just dedicated to esports. So, um, in that's that space, monstrous. we've got, yeah, 
So we've got like a like a six v six stage with two big screens on it and like a spectator area. We've got a console lounge area with eight stations. We've got VR. We've got three VR bays. I saw that. Um, yeah, that pretty, which, that's it's been neat. very popular so far. Um, uh, and we'll show pictures. I saw I saw all the pictures online. They have some on the website as well. But we'll show you all yeah. of the all of the insides of the Nexus and how it's running. Um, yeah. But yeah, that is that is a huge draw. <laughs> mm, yeah so so that's one of the big things we're offering is is you know top of the line facilities the mm -hmm. players to come in and they're all excited and they want to play on this stuff um then of course we're offering scholarship support so um at the baseline level we're offering 25 percent um tuition scholarships Very cool. and then that goes all the way up to basically what we're calling full ride now which is full tuition plus your housing covered as well mm -hmm. um so that's about as good as almost i think there's only maybe two schools that are able to offer more than what we currently can uh for players right now um so we're pretty happy with that and then uh and then um we're also offer obviously help with travel and we pay for all of the registration fees and um and that kind of thing so we're basically trying to offer as much as we possibly can to players to come and compete for us because our goal is to win national championships. Because what you guys run into is a lot of people are like, well, why is Canada part of it? But the thing is, why isn't Canada part of it? Uh, yeah. I mean, one, you guys are so close to the border, just like Lambton. Why not get you guys involved? Um, which, you know, during the pandemic and actually traveling now, I mean, pandemic probably wasn't nearly as tough just because you guys could all play online. Um, but obviously you want to be in lands as much as possible. So travel might not be as easy. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, I was like, why not include Canada? Yeah. I mean, it's and, all and North American thing too. anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Like, you know, for, for traditional sports, it's been pretty hard. Like, if, you know, like our, right. our college teams, I think could compete in the NJCAA and, and do, do pretty well. Like we have some good athletics teams here as well, but mm -hmm. the, the problem is it's just like, the cost is prohibitive because yes. if we had to even you know even just traveling across the border and going to the michigan schools and vice versa would just cause a lot of logistical headaches you know um even just thinking about passports for example like that's, a, that's a usually most training. most canadians have passports but what we found is that a lot of americans don't have passports no. and so uh, you know often when we invite americans over they're like oh how do i get there do i need anything I'm like, you need a password. Like, oh, I don't have one of those. I can't come. You know, or so if you're from Michigan, you can get a fancy license. Yeah, you can get the enhanced license yeah. as well. But, but yeah, I think in athletics, you've got a bunch of other logistical hurd hurdles to to uh, you know to to overcome. Whereas in esports, since everything's online, uh, we can just we can play against in those leagues. You know, we're playing against junior colleges. We're playing against four-year universities. Whoever from from Texas, from Florida. Right. You know, even even West Coast schools, depending on the league. Like generally, I. Uh, generally, leagues try to avoid having an East Coast school and a West Coast school play each other just because of like, ping issues ping and stuff, but yeah. it's still technically possible. And we'll be right back with more 1UP XP show and Sean Byrne from St. Clair College in Windsor, Ontario. And welcome back to the 1UP XP show. Here's more of our sit down with Sean Byrne from St. Clair College. And to kind of build a little bit of our own here at the college, and it's cool to see our, our uh, you know, our former staff and former players go out and, and do cool things. Northern Alberta, they have internet up there? <laughs> yeah, I guess they do. I don't know. I, uh, I know I they, definitely, they definitely have some trouble with ping issues yeah. uh, for a lot of games. I, I bet you they do. No, I had a, a lot of my hockey buds were from you know Saskatchewan and Manitoba and all those areas over there. Like, you guys have life up there? Like, oh, well, yeah, you know, it's always cold, but it's great. I was like, I bet you it's cold. <laughs> like, the lakes at least protect us. We don't get that cold. If it's cold, yeah. something's wrong. Um <laughs> So let's talk about the Nexus. We talked about that uh, lab that you guys just opened up. You said 15,000 square feet of eSports heaven, um, but it's open and free to all students. How much time went into this place? We pro I don't remember exactly when the discussion started, but it probably would have been as early as maybe 2018. We started talking ah. about this. So when we first started in 2017, um, this you know, space on college campuses isn't usually easy to come by. So I was lucky enough that the student union, the student representative council, which that's where we're housed under, they had a, a few study rooms that they weren't too happy with how the students were using them, if right. you want to just put it that way. Right. So they decided we don't want these to be study rooms anymore. Um, they can be your esports space. So, you know, it was probably in total 750 square feet that I was given 
Um, it was enough room to fit 12 uh, PCs and you know a, a small broadcast station. Right. That's how much room I had. So for the first four or five years of our program, that's what that's what we've been uh, living out of. So in year one, uh, we already had 40 players in the program plus staff. So we had outgrown it already in year one. So it became very obvious that we needed somewhere uh, bigger and more right. long term, more permanent. So. I think it was around 2018, maybe 20, maybe 2019 that the discussion started about um, finding us a bigger spot. Um, and then at the same time, our school over the last, um, so since I've been hired, when I was hired in 2017, the school had somewhere around 8,000 students or 9,000 students. And we've got right around 14,000 or 15,000 students now. Wow. So it's grown dramatically in that time period. So <laughs> one of the biggest areas of growth has been our school of business and school of IT. Those yeah. two uh, they used to be one combined school, but now they've grown so big, they've split them. Um, and so they needed more classrooms and more offices and everything. So um, because our eSports academic program is housed under the School of Business, mm -hmm. um, it, it would eventually work out that they were going to build these new this new business tower and the eSports nexus was going to be kind of like this cornerstone attraction. And what an amazing sit down and a whole lot of information I got with Sean there. But make sure you guys check out that podcast, which again are free and they're on the 910 News YouTube channel. And if you go to Spotify and look up the 1UP XP show, you can find it there. And you can also find it on the 1UP XP show on SoundCloud. We'll be right back with our last segment here on the 1UP XP show. And that does it for this week's episode of the 1UP XP Show. So be good, stay safe, take care. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, let's go!